All right, so this video here basically is uh, just to say I went and got a new trailer. I got this uh, Gator made uh, 20 foot deck, five foot dovetail, uh, dual tandem uh, trailered gooseneck. And it's got the, uh, I think that's called the uh, Hutchins suspension, maybe. I don't even know what it's called, but it's the uh, heavier duty suspension. So it's, um, this trailer's kind of set up like my pedal trailer. It's just, this has got a lot better suspension and better axles and stuff under it. So I'm uh, tickled with that. It's, um, I want to say rated 24,900 pound, um, trailer. So plenty heavy duty for what I need. I had to, uh, adjust the, uh, coupler up one, one spot just to level it out. It's sitting a little, just, well, it's sitting actually about level, just fuzz nose down maybe, but uh good to go now so i almost bought the hydraulic dovetail quite a bit more money and i just couldn't uh couldn't justify it so ended up with just the uh their uh, big ramps which actually um a lot more solid than say the ramps on my old pinnel trailer so I'm not uh, too concerned. I just like the uh, the, hydro the hydraulic dovetail, so um, I could uh, well, I'd have basically a 30 foot deck that way, and a lot more solid loading and stuff. But this is this is pretty good. I'll show you here. Um, we'll load it up here in a minute, but just kind of wanted to give you a rundown of the trailer. So I'm not sure how good you can see, but all the welds look good. Haven't really found a bad one yet. Um, I've crawled all over this trailer uh, just looking for anything that's wrong. And so far, nothing. Um, well, there is one thing that bothers me. And uh, I guess it's really not that big of a deal. But I don't know if you can see the uh, reflector up there above that light bar. But it's like not centered so i guess they cut it off a roll and just stick it up there but that's the only thing that's bugging me so far about this trailer but i guess that's not a big deal but anyway these ramps super heavy duty i've um i've only um fooled with them just one time so i'll get a shot of uh kind of raising them up and down in this video but they come with these uh, little uh, support bars so you can stand the ramps up if you need to if you're hauling something that's a little bit longer um, that you can't lay the ramps all the way down while it's loaded so um, yeah, anyway oil bath axles uh, drum brakes I think these are uh, 10,000 pound axles uh, under this but yeah, looks great. So underneath, kind of got these cross braces that kind of triangulate. Got the torque tube. I don't even know what size it is, but it's actually huge. So should help with uh, trailer flex and stuff. But that suspension, man, super heavy duty. Um, even under here, I've not found any. Um, spots that aren't powder coated i've seen some videos that show um kind of a lot of rust i don't know maybe i'll have that issue i don't know but i've crawled all over the place under here and it, it looks great actually um i can't find any uh, any faults yet the deck uh treated i guess these are two by eights i ain't even measured them but if you look they didn't they didn't even use bad lumber it's all it's all um good pieces of lumber i mean you know you'd think they would just throw whatever on there but it's actually uh actually really good 
Yeah, all the wheels up here look good. The the toolbox. So it comes with um, the safety triangle kit, but it fits my binders. Like they even don't hit the uh, little crossbar for the the trailer jacks. So it's a lot bigger than than it actually looked to me. So I was afraid my binders wouldn't even fit in there, but they uh, there's plenty of room. So I'm uh, happy with that. Come with that little light bar so it'll light up in the nighttime kind of way if you're loading or unloading but you probably can't tell but each end of that light bar is a, a turn signal so there's lights up there as well whenever you're turning and which i draw uh, i hauled this home in the rain i had no no issues but i felt a little better about you know like say people behind me they could see the the uh turn signals a lot better than the ones on the back which i'm not saying these are bad they're plenty bright um, they're all led but those up there up high like that um i think it's a nice little safety feature but uh yeah so far so good all that mud was me i kind of rubbed up against the the bank uh, on the way up here so just ignore that I got it dirty. It, like I say, it was raining. I was on some uh, um, old roads here that was just filthy. Coming up my driveway was a little bit dirty. So, oh well. Yeah, looks great so far. Everything, uh, I'm pleased with it. I'm going to load up the excavator for the first time. Just kind of like a little dry run. I got a job, uh, actually two jobs lined up that I'll probably be doing um, this week. But... Um, just today it's kind of a kind of a shakedown so i'm gonna load it up check on my air pressures you know make sure everything's oiled and greased and adjusted properly which so far everything seems to be but yeah i'm uh i'm happy so far so yeah one thing i can't figure out is not sure what this hole is probably for wiring for a winch if i was guessing but this little, uh, I guess that's their winch plate or uh, mount. The holes, um, maybe they have a special plate, but I've got the uh, the one that slides into a two inch receiver hitch and my hitch pin won't fit through those holes. So I don't know uh, what's up there, but you know, like I say, maybe they got something designed. I didn't really ask. I just assumed that it would fit, but um, if anybody knows, let me know. Cause um, maybe I need to buy something different, but if uh if not i'll probably just drill those holes out a little bit bigger so i can put my winch on here if i need it and uh, throw a battery into the 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 box there and uh, just run the wires through that hole but uh yeah so i'm assuming they weld these up just so when they uh do the powder coating they're up out of the way i already broke this one loose back here there's a tight end in the middle right here as well so it was it was tack welded up something like that and uh, i just uh stomped on it till it broke loose and uh i assume that's what they uh they're meant for to be welded up like it is to uh just for uh, paint or, or powder coat purposes but it's broke loose now i can probably use that to maybe tie my bucket down on the excavator i uh, don't know yet i don't know if that'll be easier or harder but um we'll see we'll load it up here in a minute just to kind of get a get an idea but yeah i've rambled long enough i'll uh i'll switch over here and kind of show you letting the ramps down show you how these latches work and uh we'll load the uh the mini x up but yeah i haven't seen many videos underneath so i kind of wanted to show some of that it's like i said i can't fault anything i've not found I've not found a bad weld. I've not found anything wrong yet. I may be totally, totally wrong about that myself, but so far, uh, tickled to death. Looks good. So let's uh, let's get this ready to uh, load the excavator up. So I know uh, GatorMate has made a big deal about talking about these steps, and you know it's like, oh, it's steps, but tell you what, it's probably one of my favorite things about this trailer so far is 
is how easy it is to get up on. I mean, amazing. Worked really good. Easy. Love that. Right at 80 pounds. Got these latches here. Um, holds these ramps good and solid so they're not moving or rattling around. Uh, it's got some pin in it. Trip it loose. You can swivel it out of the way if you need to. And uh, which I don't know how much these are to rattle. Maybe a little bit where they're spring loaded. I don't know, but. Uh, so I'm glad it's got these on here. Them seem pretty well made and they do hold the ramp good. So let's uh, let's flip the ramp open and see how that goes. All right, so we'll go ahead and open this ramp up. I'll show you, it's not bad at all actually. I mean, that's probably, I don't know, 50 pound maybe. I'll pick that up. So. What it does is, I think it's a two spring system. So like that spring helps pull it up and basically it's about done. Then it lands on that other spring when it goes down. Seems like to me. So let's flip it on down here. Basically just let it go. And they said those will soften up over time a little bit. So it's actually not bad at all too stiff. It's just, uh, little bit of that but as soon as you drive on I don't see it being much of an issue but yeah not bad at all so we'll uh we'll flip it back up Not bad. So let's uh, latch it back down here. There we go. Ain't going nowhere now. So let's uh, let's get it ready. And we'll load the excavator up. Kind of anxious to see uh, how much it squats the back of the trailer if it picks up on the front of the truck or anything uh, that's one thing I do like about the hydro dovetail um, not sure if I need to kind of put blocks under the back of this trailer so back here whenever I would load with my old trailer I would put a couple of blocks of wood underneath the, the tail of the trailer just to keep it from squishing down too much when I uh, was loading uh, and that that pulls up on the front of the truck puts a lot of pressure on the the back axle so i'm uh, i'm hoping this don't do this but we'll, we'll see what it does we'll load it up and uh, see how it looks uh loading it up Okay, so I got my Kubota U55-4 mini excavator. Um, I think it weighs around 12,000 something pounds. Uh, pretty sure that's what it is. So, shouldn't be nothing for this trailer. But let's, um, let's run it up on here. And the uh, only thing I'm going to do is scotch the, the wheels. So, I'll scotch it, but I'm not going to put anything under the, the back of it. We'll just see... Uh, if and how how bad it uh, squats it whenever uh, we go to load it so let's uh let's get it up on the trailer here
well i can't i can't tell it might have squatted the truck a little bit but this uh 2022 ram 3500 high output um it's got these extra i don't know if they're torsion or overload or what but i don't even think i'm sitting on the overload yet so we might can uh um put a little more tongue weight on it yeah so let's check and see so that's probably about where it would ride um we'll adjust it a little bit we'll look at the suspension under the trailer here and uh kind of see what what's what but i think i mean if anything we could go we could go farther forward so let's uh get in here and check the suspension out i'm gonna put the ramps up set the the boom down and uh we'll take a look So we'll look back at that video and see what the uh, what the truck did um, by pulling it on forward. I can't tell that it's done anything, honestly. So, yeah, believe it'll work out pretty good. Um, I'll take a video of the truck uh, whenever I go to unload this, and uh, we'll see what it's what it's doing. If it's rearing up too high, if we need a blocker in the back or what. But um, yeah, we'll take a look at it. So far so good i'm sitting a little crooked on there but uh oh well like i say i might i might can even come a little closer to the truck that way the boom is actually on the wood deck not on the metal it's barely on the metal back there on the dovetail uh, right there so yeah i believe i could still go farther forward and uh be okay so Anyway, I'll quit yapping. We'll crawl under here and look at the suspension on the trailer and see what it's doing. I may get a shot of that when uh, when I'm unloading uh, the excavator and see what it's doing too. So let's do that. Okay, so I don't know how much you can see, but the axles are still quite away from even getting close to the frame. And I believe that's on both axles. Yeah, the back one is too. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's it's probably got three or four inches too. So um, super tough on the suspension. I, I honestly can't tell that it's even moved, but I'm sure it has. But I, I can't tell. But anyway, I'll set a camera up under here so we can uh, we can watch and see what the suspension does when I back the excavator off. Um, might be better to get a shot of the back axle. I don't know what. Well, maybe set the camera up near the back of it, pointing this way. So, uh, yeah. But so far, uh, super impressed. Tickled to death. So let's do that. so good 
seemed uh seemed pretty stout uh, we'll look back at the footage on the suspension as well and see what that looks like uh, you'll probably see it right in this video but i'm gonna look back and see anyway but yeah already this one was smoother than my old one but still enough flex that i want to um to put something there to keep it from doing that so yeah well anyway there she is i like it so far um like i said i got a couple jobs lined up for this week so um those will be coming pretty soon i'll load it up haul it do the job and you'll see this uh, trailer more often in some of these videos now um but yeah so far so good i like it i'll have uh have some towing uh footage in the like i said the next video and we'll see how how good the the ram does towing so i haven't really told um much with it since i got the the replacement eyes and transmission which that went out I'm, i don't know if you've seen that video or not but that's uh that's on my youtube channel but only thing i've told is that trailer empty which probably can't remember now eight or nine thousand pound eight thousand pound i don't know um that's all i've told with it other than the the back hole a little bit i think so yeah this will be a little better test so they excavated the trailer uh together and we'll see what she does so i got these uh six by six blocks let's see what this does Now I have no idea how much that um, squished down whenever I load and unload, but those are six inch blocks I've cut out. So that still might be a lot of flex, I don't know. that done but let's see what the truck does not sure what it done that time either but i suspect it might have been a little bit better but i would like to have something just high enough to keep it from flexing a little bit more so maybe like a two inch block on top of those you know i don't know but not that big of a deal it's just uh feels a little better coming down off of there when it's a little more solid and um stable so yeah 
still not bad at all way better than my old trailer uh, yeah i can't fault it much on that you know kind of anticipated that going in but yeah i'll take it yeah maybe we'll figure out something to do there one of these days but for right now the blocks of wood are good uh, if you put them under there before the ramps are down um you know a lot easier to get to in position that way so not that bad it's just got to haul those around with me uh, each time so yeah let's uh flip them ramps up and get them uh, out of the way see what they look like hey bandit how you doing bandit much easier to lift than my old ramps on my other trailer or the other ramps on my old trailer whatever these uh like i say if it was a little bit taller here um be good i probably could have scooted them on back just behind the bumper onto the frame rail and fit the four before on top of it um that may be something that i still do in the future but I'll put these in the tongue box if they'll fit and uh, may have to cut them down just a little bit I don't know what will fit in there yet but uh, we'll figure out something to do with those and uh, we'll just use those for right now just to make sure it ain't too uh, unstable and you know too rough on anything because you know all that weight on one axle probably fine on this thing because those are 10k axles I don't think it, I'm putting that much weight on the back axle but very well could be um, but anyway the blocks I think will help uh, even that out and uh, those are cheap enough got the little sawmill so it don't cost me nothing to make those so yeah anyway let's uh let's wrap this up and um, get on something else